Hi Libra! Welcome to Pandora Astrology's monthly horoscope for October of 2020. It's birthday time for you, and now is the very best time in the whole year to get a solar return birthday reading so that you can hit the ground running in your own personal new year. Uh, even if your birthday has already happened by the time you see this horoscope, it's still the best time of the year to, um, you know, figure out everything that you need to know going into your year so that you can um, really take advantage of it. So we have got Mars retrograde activity for you this month, continuing from last month, and also Venus and Mercury activity, and not just two, but three moons to talk about. Hey, Julia, what's up with that Mars retrograde for uh, Libra this month? Ooh, good question, Jamie. Well, hey, Libra. So Mars is going retrograde in your seventh house all month. And uh, we've been talking about Mars in the seventh for you for a couple of months now. So you can also look at our August and September horoscope videos to learn more about how this will feel. Uh, and we also have a uh, video about the Mars retrograde cycle tri triggering the pandemic hot degree in our 2020 news playlist. You should also see um, to see how this Mars retrograde cycle is going to affect the world at large. Mm -hmm. But for you, specifically the seventh house is the house of partnership so that includes a romantic relationship or even business partners that you have in your life mm -hmm. and when mars goes retrograde it means that you're going to be facing a lot of frustrations and possible flare-ups with all of those close one-to-one -one partners in your life this is also the house of open enemies too so if you have any sort of obvious enemies in your life they're probably going to be a bit more trouble too now, Venus, the planet of art, beauty, and love, uh, enters your 12th ho house on October 2nd. And the 12th house is a very sort of secluded house mm -hmm. in the zodiac. Um, and Venus is a relationship planet, so you'll probably be withdrawing a little bit uh, mm -hmm. in your social relationships. And if you have a partner, you'll probably prefer to spend a little bit more at time at home with them uh, instead of just kind of going out and connecting socially with a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Then Mercury, the planet of communication and mentation, uh, uh, goes into your second house on October 13th. And the second house is the house of values. It's also the house of money, too. So with Mercury here, you're going to probably be thinking and strategizing about how you can sort of earn more money or manage your possessions better. And this is also a wonderful transit for being outspoken and able to communicate about your values to others, whether they're religious values, political values, or family values. And Julia, what about Mercury going retrograde in that house, which it's doing oh, yeah. on the 13th? So, yes, Mercury will be going retrograde on October 13th. So it will be a time of having to review a lot of these matters as well. Mm. Um, so, you know, when Mercury goes retrograde too, you might be rethinking or re-strategizing your money or having to sort of go over conversations with other people concerning your values. Mm. So true. Well, there are three moons to talk about this month. Right at the beginning of the month on October 1st, we have a full moon in Aries. And uh, right here it is in your seventh house, opposite that sun in Libra. And so this is going to bring up a lot of themes about relationship. And it, it may sort of dovetail with some of the things Julia has been saying about Mars retrograde in your seventh house. There could definitely be flare-ups. There could be high emotions. And Chiron's involvement um, can definitely also provide opportunities for healing, but some of those opportunities might feel a little bit ouchy as well, Chiron's nature being what it is. We've dubbed this moon, nurture yourself before others. And so um, restoring some balance in your relationships by asserting yourself, you know, in a, a sensible and calculated way would be a really good idea under this moon. Then on October 16th, we have... Uh, another moon, hmm. which is a new moon in Libra, and that's going to fall in your first house right here. And uh, this one we've called it Dolores Umbridge Saccharine Evil because of the way that this moon squares the pandemic hot degree and also Saturn, Pluto, and Jupiter in the positions that they're in right now. And then Mars retrograde is involved too. So there's um, a very strong um, emotion attached to this moon. And um, if you've been struggling during the pandemic with the pandemic hot degree and its pressures, its lesson about, you know, uh, being in control of the things you can control and letting go of control of the things that you can't. This moon might really bring up a lot of, um, you know, emotions of struggle and conflict around that. 
So beware of that during the three days surrounding this moon and um, do your best to manage your emotions because um, you're probably going to be feeling a lot of them. Then uh, we have a full moon, which is also a blue moon on Halloween. And <clears throat> that falls in your eighth house uh, with the moon in Taurus right here opposite the sun in Scorpio in your second house. And this is the axis of finance in your chart. And it's uh, probably going to bring up some of those themes around um, what Mercury retrograde has been doing in your second house, uh, basically suggesting that you balance your finances that are just your own with the finances that you share with others, maybe via a marriage or um, investments that you have made um, or any ways that you, you know, hold money with, um, you know, in a partnership with another person or entity. And um, so emotions could run high about this and this moon uh, ties in a very, uh, shall we say, erratic and um, unpredictable Uranus, which conjuncts the moon actually precisely during this moon. So we've called it mostly tricks, a few treats. There could be some unexpected fallout in your finances this month right around that moon. So there's a watch out for you. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, and, um, and come on back around because we love to see you here. And um, you will also find uh, your, your horoscope here on our YouTube channel, Pandora Astrology. You can find it <clears throat> on our website too at pandoraastrology.com slash horoscope. And then you'll always find the news of the month on our website too, pandoraastrology.com slash monthly forecast. And we'll see you around the cosmos. Bye.